What What do you think made the difference for them tonight? Uh, we gave them uh, a lot of a lot of open drives. We were chasing the ball uh, for three three and a half quarters. Uh, when you do that, it puts a lot of pressure on your on your decisions and. And then they were making shots after that. And then we, were, and then we would never get a good shot uh, stop. We would foul them and get them on the free throw line. Uh, that's uh, that's a recipe for a, a tough night defensively. Down the fourth quarter, you know, maybe like six or eight minutes to go, we 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 did a better job of keeping the ball in front of us and making them take tough shots over the top. And but it was it was uh, too late. And what happened on that final sequence is uh, Russell was throwing the ball in. They, they, they played a zone. We had 0.7 seconds. They had a man in the middle, white side. So that was going to be a hard decision. Uh, he thought, I think he thought uh, Haru was going to pop out because the way they guarded Brad was going to be for Brad for a flare, but they did a good job of taking that away. And I think Russell, if I can, I haven't talked to him, but he thought Haru was probably going to pop out. He would have had a probably would have had a, a decent look at it. Fred, yeah, Scott, what do you think what caused the issue for you guys tonight at the three point line? Yeah, well, we haven't shot the ball well all year. I mean, we're in the bottom, in the bottom. I like I keep saying it, and I keep I believe in it that we're going to turn the corner. Um, and we we made a little jump the last few games and. And this was, I mean, this was as bad as it can get, four for 25. Um, and our arguably one of the best shooters uh, is two for eight, and our best player is 0 for five. So we got we got to be better from the three-point line. We just got to be better. It, it's a, it's a three-point shooting league, and, and we got to take care of the ball. It seemed like every turnover we had uh, led to a break. And... You do make a mistake. You got to get back and you know keep that turnover down to a little over a a, a point per per turnover, not you know almost two. Jim, you're on mute. Hi, hi, Scott. Uh, in terms of that, Russ really came alive in that sort of fourth quarter for E. Uh, he really stepped up the gears. But did you give Sacramento too much of a lead in that third quarter? Yeah. I mean, they 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 were up like eight or nine throughout that game. I mean, throughout that quarter. Um, we we fought and battled and had a chance to tie. Fox made a, a tough contested shot um, over one of our best defenders. So, but we, it was, it was, um, we got to we got to step up. They're picking on guys, and we got to we got to man up. We got to guard. We got to guard. That's what the, the league is doing at more than ever now. Uh, pick on a guy offense. Cheers, Scott. Quinn, how you doing, Coach? What do you think goes into the the lack of fourth quarter execution for you guys? This is not one of the first times this season we've seen you guys kind of fall apart, especially in those critical moments down the stretch in uh, close games? Actually, we've done pretty good in close games. I think we're like seven and two or something like that. We're, I mean, tonight wasn't execution. Tonight we, we scored enough points and we stopped them. But they, they scored 36 in the third quarter, 32 in the, in the second, 34 in the first, 19 in the fourth. That's, I mean, that's the execution in the fourth quarter was was much better tonight. I mean, the last the point seven seconds. That's not you want to get a shot, and it's going to be a. It's always it's always going to be a tough shot, um, but we got to be better. We got to be better throughout the game. Throughout the game, you don't just lose it in the last point seven seconds of a game. You lose it throughout the game. That's why it's so important uh, when you have a a team that's committed to possession by possession, and we will be there one day. But right now, we we. At times, we take some of these possessions for granted. They don't, we don't do it on purpose. We're just not locked in. And also, Alex Lynn had a season high in rebounds this season. I, th I can't remember what the final number was, but I know he surpassed oh. nine, so I, uh, 12. 
So what did you see from him on the glass specifically? You've been trying to get your bigs to to do a better job corralling the ball. Could you talk about that? I thought he I thought he had one of his best games. Unfortunately, we didn't win. I thought the first four minutes he didn't do a good job of of protecting the paint, protecting the rim, and then we got on him and he made some adjustments. And I thought throughout the game after that, uh, he was much better. And that's what we want. That's what we need. We need that. His length is it's, he's the best on our team at protecting the rim. So he has to do that every night. Um, rebounding is important. You know, it's one of the first games, you know, I mean, we didn't lose the rebounding game. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Neil. Scott, you guys have talked about it all season so far about not locking in at certain times. Why has that been the case? And why do you think you guys can still potentially turn it around? Yeah, because we're, I mean, we're going to keep working. We're not going to we're not going to give in, give up, throw the flag. We're going to keep working. It's our job. It's my job to, is to keep the group uh, moving forward. We're in a we're in a tough place. There's no nobody's happy, which is good. Um, we gotta we gotta get better. We gotta get better. Or, like I said, we have to we have to guard. We have to guard. It's a it's a defensive it's a defensive challenge in this league, and you have to be able to step up and guard your man and and stay in front of the ball. We were chasing that ball for three and three quarters tonight, and when you do that, it takes a lot out of your um, ability to to continue to scramble, and and now you're banking on them missing shots and. That's that's becomes a difficult chore, and that's what happened tonight until the fourth quarter. Can you take us through that last play and what went wrong? Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, it was actually it was tough. They were in the zone. Uh, it was really a play from uh, Aul to set a flare for me to go to the weak side corner, and uh, and kind of receive that pass where Russ was throwing it. That's really where I should have been, but there was no. No screen, so we kind of we pushed the play, uh, plain and simple. And you guys are now 0 and 5 since the all star break. You got a quick turnaround against a really good Utah team. You're a leader, Russ is a leader. How do you guys gather the troops and, and turn things around, especially with playoffs as your aspirations? Probably, I mean, we say the same thing we said in the first half of the year like, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. Like, this team we played tonight, we're exact same record, same position, but in the west coast. Like, so this we play ourselves tonight. So we have to look at it like every game that we play, man, we have to we got to win and we got to play like we're trying to get into the playoffs. Right now we're not doing that. And if we continue to play like this, we damn sure not getting it. Uh, our schedule does get easier. You know, we play back to back tomorrow. Then after that, we play every other day, literally probably for the next 60 days. So there's no time for for dragging along, man, we got to step it up. Step it up now. Appreciate you. Ava? Brad, as you just said, you guys have been here before, and you've been here before with the three-point shooting, too. Um, what can you kind of go back to from how you guys jogged yourself out of that specifically earlier in the year that might help this time around? Uh, I'll, offense is offense. You know, it's, I always say if we had control over making shots, nobody would miss. So I never – Put emphasis on offense, but I feel like our defense sucks, and that's a direct carryover to our offense. Like we're not getting stops, we're not being able to push the ball, we're taking the ball out all the time, not rebounding. Or if we do, we're all offense. We're turning the ball over, giving them easy buckets. So it's we're doing the complete. We're ass backwards. You know, we're we're doing the complete opposite of what we need to do. I think you talk about consistency from game to game a lot, but in game, um, Scott tonight was talking about the kind of spurts that you guys will have where you're focused in for a while. How do you kind of get that to extend to a full 48 minutes, especially with the lineup changes, all the young guys, everything you guys are dealing with? Oh, there's no excuse. You know, that's, that's, we are who we are. You know, we have what we have. And everybody has the same opportunity to be able to contribute. And everybody has the same opportunity to play. Uh, it's a matter of us all coming together collectively and getting it done, man. Like one person out of unison, is, it can mess up the whole train. So, you know, we, we got to understand that, you know, continue to rally each other up, pull for each other and do whatever it takes to win because it's not, it's not easy to win. 
for whatever reason, I don't think I don't think we kind of come out with that mindset. We're just gonna roll the ball out and just go hoop. It's not easy to win in this league. Fred. Hey Brad, uh, I know I have asked you this before in past years, but I don't think this year. Uh, you guys again have like a disproportionately better record against uh, winning teams than you do losing teams. Any theories as to why that is? Probably the same reason. It's probably like that for every level of basketball. I think a lot of teams are like that. Like you just play down to team's record, or play down to what you think that team is capable of. And I don't know. I think it's kind of a natural thing to do. Great teams don't do it, obviously. Uh, but I think human-wise, it's kind of a natural thing to do. Uh, my AAU kids do it all the time. So I understand what you're saying. It, it's, it, it definitely can't happen, but it does. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Chase? Brad, you guys won uh, seven of eight games, and, and now you follow that up by losing seven of eight games. How do you just explain those two extremes uh, coming back to back? Uh, definitely two extremes. Uh, but that's the inconsistency. You know, we, we have to be better. Uh, it's all on the defensive end and, and not turning the ball over. You know, we got we to gotta, gotta be better on that, in that, in that front. And, Rally together to win. You know, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. Uh, you know, we don't have Superman coming in here to save us, so we got to you know, make sure that we, we locked in, ready to go, and, and do it together. You know, it's possible. We've shown we can do it. That's the, that's the ugly part about it. You know, we, we've, shown, we've shown our hand. We've shown we're capable of doing it, but figuring out a way to be more consistent. And um, the shot that De'Aaron Fox hit, um, was there anything else you think you could have done, or was it just a tough defense, tough shot that he made? I could have fouled him, but he still would have been shooting. <laughs> so, I mean, it was a tough spot. It was a tough shot. I mean, I feel like I, I guarded it solidly. Uh, only thing I probably could have done was maybe cut off his left hand, uh, forced him right. But he had it going the last you know, 10 possessions. So, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. You know, he's a, he's a good player, so it was a tough shot. You have to tip your hat off to him, but the only thing else I probably could have did was maybe force him right or shit foul him. But that wouldn't have ended well regardless. Christos? Hello, Bradley. I would like to ask you, what would you like to change as a team from tonight's game and carry on about the rest of the season? And what this team needs to be back on the winning road? Christoph, hopefully we can figure out a way to guard, you know, we, we've lost sight of that, you know, we, we can't defend. Uh, we got to find our purpose on defense, you know, we got to be able to guard with some, some dog, with, some, with taking the challenge, you know, we don't, we don't do that. Every team, you know, we kind of have teams point out who they want to go at, you know, and we should, we should take that as disrespectful and sometimes we don't, so. It sucks, but only way we get out of it is pull ourselves out of it. You know, I always feel like it's on the defensive end. If we we control the offense entirely, like nobody would miss a shot, everything would be perfect. But you know, that's it's not that's not the real. It's not gravity. There's not any of that. So you know, you just gotta control what you can control. We can control our efforts and our energy uh, night in and night out. Last question to Neil. Hey, Brad. I know every season is different. The players' roster is all different, but it seems like defense has always been your guys' Achilles' heels in recent seasons. Can you, is there anything that you can assess that to? Uh, I really wish I knew. Uh, every team is different, obviously. Uh, every game we play is different. Every scheme we have is different. Game to game, in, game in and game out, and year in and year out. You know, so it's. Uh, I really wish I knew. I, it's, it's not just one thing that we could just pinpoint and say, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's this thing or it's whatever the case, but we don't have that. It's, it's the multiple, you know, facets of things that, you know, kind of alter our defensive production. Hey, Ho, uh, first of all, how you feeling after uh, being a game time decision? Uh, just a little sore, but I feel okay. 
So you guys, uh, you know, had won seven of eight, and now um, right after that have, have lost seven of eight. How, how do you explain the, the two extremes here right back to back? Um, I think we definitely have a tough schedule. Uh, we play against uh, great teams, and I think those uh, losses, I think, got us down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> But I think it's defending. I think our defense on the stretch that we won games uh, was, I think, up five or it was pretty high on, on the league. And now we're getting 120, 120 plus points, uh, getting the other team scoring on us that, that much. I think it's hard to win when we um, have to overscore the other team by that many points. <clears throat> I think that's, uh, I think that's what, what's happening. Ava. Paul, could you take us through um, what you saw from your perspective on the last possession there? Yeah, I think uh, I thought Brad was going to be behind me. I thought the pass was for him, but after watching, I was uh, I was kind of open. I just had to step out a little bit, um, but I didn't see that that coming. And, uh, I think that's what that's what happened. The the, the play was definitely for. Um, Brett coming around and getting over the corner, but um, I think they they got kind of a zone playing, and I was open, but I didn't see that. And what was just kind of the the message in the locker room afterwards? It was it seemed like a really loud game um, here in the arena. Like there was frustrations kind of all around. But what was it like uh, for the conversation for you guys? I mean, just keep our heads up, um, but mostly we got to defend. I think that was the message we got for defense. If we don't play defense, we're not going to win games like we were winning before. Um, I think that's the that's that's got to be the key for us going forward. Uh, taking prowl and guarding one on one, with no not letting uh, the other guys score on you, um, and uh, just keep our heads up. I think we still got a lot of games to play. Fred. Hey, Raul, um, you mentioned the defense as a reason for the seven of eight losses. And I'm, I'm just curious, what what do you think you guys did well during that that winning streak earlier that that has kind of fallen off during this losing streak? I mean, we are I think we are locked. We are locked in. You know, we are focused every play during the game. I don't think we had any stretch uh, on the, those games where the other team went on like a score every possession, you know. Um, I think the every game we lost after also break, we've had moments where they were scoring, scoring, scoring. And when you have to overscore a team like that, it's hard uh, to win games. But I think it was was just focus and every, everybody being dialed in. I think, uh, um, I don't know if you guys are tired. I don't know what it is, but um, it's definitely not the same energy we had in the uh, winning streak that we had before the All-Star break. Jim Conlon. Hi, uh, Raul. Um, just in relation to that fourth quarter, um, Russ nearly got you back into the game single-handedly. He started to carry you there for a while. He has eight points in a row, uh, Russell Westbrook. Um, so... Russ uh, came alive in the fourth quarter, but it wasn't to be. Sorry, I didn't understand your question. So, just asking about uh, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, he sort of came alive. Uh, he scored eight points in a row. Uh, Russ nearly uh, got one year to game there in the fourth quarter. I mean, that's that's what he do. He do you know, he's a he's a, a player that loves those moments. Uh, he always bring the energy. He always uh, try to bring us alive when the game is not going well. And, uh, and I think he did a good job um, throughout the whole game. And I think mostly in the last quarter. Hey, Russ, um, with the last possession at the end there, was that um, a miscommunication effort from your perspective or what did you see? Yeah, uh, I guess it's my fault. I take it. And um, every well, Brad and and how will we talk to pointed to defense as the root issue, not the three point shooting or anything. What's your perspective on that? Does one lead to the other? Yeah, you know, you just gotta man up, defend better. Um, simple as that. It's not schemes or anything that's leading us uh, 
Set a man up. That's it. Fred? And Russell, just building off of that, uh, compared to the the uh, the winning streak when you guys were rattling those off a couple of weeks ago, what what is the thing that you guys were doing so well now that's fallen off in your mind? Uh, defending. Any any particular aspect of defense? Uh, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of different things, but overall, defense is not where it was. Chase. Yeah, Russ, uh, related to that, you know, you guys had won seven of eight, and, and now right after that, you guys have lost seven of eight. Just how do you explain those two extremes happening uh, right after each other? Uh, well, you know, honestly, man, I think it's uh, uh, it's difficult to, to try to figure out, but I think, uh, at least for me personally, I like to uh, figure out ways to and as a leader, I'm not, I'm not a guy that, that just leads when things are going well. Um, so when we're not playing, we need to play at. Um, I take the onus on myself and take the, take the blame because uh, I just feel like I'm not doing what I need to do to be able to get our guys ready to go. Um, and that's on me. So I got to make sure that I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, one thing I'm not going to do is quit. Uh, I, I'm never going to give up on my teammates or give up on the game because – um, it's done so much for me. So, uh, in this slump, um, I'm gonna take I'm taking responsibility for what's going on because it's it's, it's my responsibility to get us back on track. Uh, I've been in the league a long time. I've been able to lead different guys and teams, and uh, you know, I got to find a way to better make sure our guys are ready to go on every night. Uh, and you know, I'm gonna try to help turn it around uh, any way that I can. And last question to Jim Conlon. Hi, Russ. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, Russ, there was a certain play in that third quarter where you picked uh, De'Aaron Fox off, uh, intercepted, and you went for a sort of signature sort of dunk, and it didn't go in, and it sort of spurned you on then because you came on then and you made an emphatic dunk afterwards going down the sideline over two bodies. So was that sort of dunk sort of playing on your mind, really, that you missed it because you the next play it in? Uh, you came out with a real statement of an intent to make up for that. Um, yeah, man, I missed two dunks uh, that I never will miss. So uh, definitely upset about it, but uh, I ain't about to miss too many more dunks. I'll tell you that.